this is a real question of whether or not there's any place else for consumers to go to purchase drugs or whether or not the federal government can negotiate on a drug by drug basis every time taxpayers are picking up the ticket. Well, I the Congressional Budget Office and the has looked at this. organizations who are testifying here today spent a combined total of $30 million lobbying Congress last year. Pharma, your organization is responsible for almost three quarters of that total. And a lot of that money that is spent lobbying Congress is to keep drug prices high. That's what improves profitability for your industry and the companies you represent. And here's what I think is really wrong about this. You talk about wanting market solutions, but your industry isn't based on competitive markets. It's based on totally artificial, taxpayer-granted monopolies. Companies invent new drugs, and then the government hands the companies the exclusive right to manufacture and sell those drugs at whatever prices they want for decades. So I just have a little bit of time left. But I want to ask, do you know the average length of a government-granted monopoly for top-selling drugs in this country? 10 to 12 years. Yeah, 10 to 12 years. The law says five. No. Five years of exclusivity, but drug companies game the system. According to a 2015 analysis by researchers at Harvard, companies end up with a monopoly that lasts a medium length of 12 and a half years. Senator I Warren, patents are 20 years time, long. Mr. Chairman. 20 years. That is how long a pharmaceutical patent is. We also have five I'm sorry, years of data the exclusivity. The law says five years of exclusivity on the basic drugs. Absolutely. And the average, you think the Harvard study, they don't know how to do it there to study how much money you're making off these things or how Sen long you have exclusivity? Senator Warren, I'm simply saying that companies have five years of data exclusivity. Immediately after that, a generic company can get to market. And let me tell you, they try very hard to get to market as soon as they can. And you're saying that the drug companies don't game the system at all to expand their exclusivity to an average of 12 Patent is, happens. Senator I, Warren, patents are 20 years long. Exclusivity is a completely well, different Try the story on someone else who's going to be willing to listen to it. Taxpayers watch when we've granted exclusivity to these companies, and then they watch as the prices go up, and there's not a darn thing for taxpayers to do about it. This is just fundamentally wrong.